all you want to do is use your rototiller and it does that. Definite sign, it's not getting any fuel. And this one has torques on it. That's cool. Make that one very easy to get to. Wipe all this goo off of here before I pop it off. That way it doesn't go in the fuel tank. Any day now. <sighs> oh, miss a screw. I'll keep her on there pretty good. Gotta take all the screws out. Oh. It's one in the middle that goes through the body. Alright. Now you get all the bolts out, it'll actually come off. Oh, well, that ain't good. Alright, well we got it out, but we broke the pickup screen. I have to come up with something interesting there. Okay, I think I found the problem. I pulled off this little screen guy, and if you can see in there, it's full of a bunch of goo. There's a bunch of goo there. Aside from the fact that I broke off that pickup there, this guy needs cleaned off. Stuff a rag in there to keep all the junk from going back into the fuel tank. Or at least as much as we can. I'll take my Lyle brand scraper. There's a razor blade that goes on the end. Works great. I'm going to be careful when using it on soft material like aluminum, but this sheet steel, unless the blade has a real big dent in it, shouldn't, ga shouldn't gouge the material. Okay, now the trick is pulling it out without dumping all that stuff back in the tank. Pretty good, we got a little left in there. Okay, now that that's clean, we gotta go to the carburetor and get it cleaned up. Might notice the pickup tube is back on. I tried something, it was a little sketchy. I removed the old portion of the pickup tube that was broke off and stuck on this pipe. Took the old hand torch map gas works great lightly heated the end of this pickup tube and put a little heat to the plastic and shoved it on the end i think we're going to be okay it's a little bit shorter not a not a lot take this guy apart this is where the pump is for the pickup okay we got our fancy old cool whip bucket 
Put a little brake clean in that. Put all our pieces and parts in there to get cleaned up. Got our spray bottle from Rule King filled up with CRC chlorinated brake cleaner. And let's start ripping and tearing here. Should be a diaphragm pump behind this cover. I think it's like a lift pump. Sucks the fuel up from the bottom of the fuel tank. Puts it in the smaller reservoir that you saw on the top of the tank. It's gonna roll pin for orientation. Mm. Almost need a tiny dead blow hammer. Oh, there we go. Uh oh. Okay, there's the diaphragm. Good news is we didn't tear it taking it off. The cover. I think these little flaps make like a check valve for it. See if we can get it off of there without tearing it. Okay. Washer so the spring doesn't tear the diaphragm. A little spring. A little bit of dirt in there, but that might have came off. And we popped this cover off of there. Careful with this aluminum because it's soft. Okay, that's all cleaned up and we got all that goo and then there we gotta get out. I don't know if that main jet's removable or not, we'll find out. thread that like it's permanent I'm gonna use a real small pick to try to clean the stuff out of there you gotta be really careful though you don't want to damage the brass Some nasty goo in there That's some nasty stuff right there's probably why she didn't want to run for us today screw I believe but it's not adjustable it just screws in all the way There's another one underneath that plug cover it's permanent you don't want to take that apart blew it off with the air gun now it's time to put it back together I'm 
spring for the diaphragm. I'm going to wash it to protect the diaphragm. Turn upside down. This little jet had a bunch of goo in the holes. It's got holes, cross drilled holes in it. I'm gonna clean it a little bit more and uh, blow it out. This guy didn't have any adjustment on it. It just was seated in tight. So that's how we're gonna put it back. Cleaned up. Ready to go back on the rototiller. Clean the little reservoir, the raised reservoir out. Had a little bit of tarnish in it. And I don't have a new gasket. I don't want to wait any new gaskets. They're just going to put a little bit of uh, RTV on there. Just so happens that uh, ultra copper high temps what I got. But any RTV will work. Just going to put a thin skin on here. You're gonna have to put it in, then put the throttle linkage on. Try not to break off this standpipe again. Start all the bolts first before you tighten any. Man. What's happening here? Oh. Sitting up. Screw it. Try to hook up this throttle linkage. Maybe the trick is taking this bolt out. That'll help. shoulder bolt back in this one's a little difficult to get to Okay, it's tight to the engine or the head. I think we can snug up all these carb dill fuel tank bolts.
pick up the choke linkage. Upside down. Long bowl down over here. The one with the clamp for the vacuum. Oh, I need to tighten the throttle bolt. We've got a wrench and reach in from there. Prime a little gas. Put this back on so your face doesn't catch on fire. I had to disassemble the carburetor again because it still wasn't working properly and I soaked it in submerged the whole carburetor and brake cleaner and blew it back off with air but when I would apply air pressure to this main nozzle I didn't hear any air flowing through the inside so I had to mechanically clean the tip with the only thing that I had available you're not supposed to do this unless you have proper appropriate tools but this is all I have it's a strand of copper wire from, I believe, a 16 gauge uh, wire. Could be 18. Take one strand, and I had to mechanically clean the jet out. Now, when I apply air pressure to there, you can hear it blowing through the inside. So, let's put it back together and see what happens. Round two, second time the carburetor is installed. I think cleaning that jet out with that copper wire was the winning ticket. We'll see what happens. Pretty confident. Put all the tools away. It's either going to work. If it doesn't work, we're quitting.
finally got our pony back out of the stable and she works all right if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up leave your questions and comments in the section below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button thanks everybody